look, it's Axolotl. They're back. They're finally back. Oh my goodness. Here, Axolotl, can you go ahead and eat this for me and make some ectoplasm? Thank you. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome back to Wobble Dogs where we have got one freaking hilarious ghost guard dog here with Oxalotl uh, who apparently seems to be allergic to the afterlife because the minute that they showed up they just started sneezing nonstop, and that's kind of cracking me up. How would it be if you were actually a ghost who happened to be allergic to ectoplasm? I think that your life might become a little bit more difficult. But all right so welcome back everyone to our adventure here into Wobble Dogs, where we are carrying on the very joyful experiment of uh, an experience of our experiments, kind of based off of our laboratory wacky randomness, taking care of all of these puppers. And hopefully soon we will have several of them who will be old enough to be able to start having puppies of their own. But until then, we're going to go ahead and give them all of the pets. Abstract, let's give you some pets. Coconut Strudel, let's give you some pets. I probably need, oh yeah, Coconut Strudel actually need some food so we're gonna go ahead and scoop coconut strudel up and we're gonna try to feed coconut strudel some more alien fruit in an attempt to get some thicker stronger legs there you go yeah I still can't believe we have like a three-legged dog this is kind of wild this is kind of hilariously, amazingly wild. And then where did Mysticorn go? Again, Mysticorn has once again wiggled in here. I swear that Mysticorn is somewhat enchanted with corn dog, you guys. I really think that Mysticorn, oh, easy there, corn dog. <laughs> That Mysticorn is quite curious to see what happens if she sticks around Corn Dog. Corn Dog, meanwhile, has gotten quite a bit more orange. The leg length is going up. Yes, we are trying really hard to get a dog with very, very long legs so that we can potentially get the achievement for having a dog with long legs. The girth is going up. Body length is going up. Snout length has gone up a little bit, and I swear that the glossiness has definitely increased too. I don't know where that factors into what we're feeling eating uh, corn dog, but we'll have to check. Also corn dog, let's see. Are we getting any closer? Hatch or mutate a dog with very long legs. Okay, I don't know if we're getting any closer there, but we're trying with being able to have the really, really long legs. Let me clean up that banana spot. Let's see, oh wow, corn dog. Oh, corn dog, you're an adult now? Oh my goodness. I didn't know that we'd already reached like adult level with our, our dogs, you guys. I, I kind of need another giraffe dog in order to go ahead and like be able to, here you go, corn dog. I feel like I need to make the corn dog a feeder uh, so that they can actually reach some of this food. But gosh, I might need to like put down another giraffe dog if that's the case, that corn dog's already an adult. Oh, I really didn't think that through. Who would I choose? Like corn dog and Mysticorn. Mysticorn's legs are kind of long, but not as long as I would hope for. And Coconut Strudel, I mean, I guess Coconut Strudel could help out. Um, but really, I think I want to put in another one of the dogs I've been saving, like this one. Uh, or there's another giraffe dog, the golden giraffe dog, this one right here. I have been saving this puppy, wanting to go ahead and add them in to the giraffe pen and make them a golden giraffe dog. So we'll go ahead and see if we can hatch that one. Uh, and meanwhile, <gasps> Sugar Lump, come here, Sugar Lump. Are you having a hard time? Is there not a lot of food left because we kind of had a lot of problems with uh, Drip, may they rest in peace, eating a ton of it? Oh, here you go, Sugar Lump. Do you want to go ahead and eat this dog leg? Very morbid, might be good for you. Got a little bit of ectoplasm from that. We'll give you all the pets. And then actually, I've been wanting to make Sugar Lump like really big. So what is the gut flora to make the dogs really, really big again? All right, feeding them the, the bones is important for that. So bones, garlic bread is for big tail, which I really want the tails to become even larger. And then what's just like plain big? Okay, um, lasagna, I think it might be good for big. So I kind of want to feed Sugar Lump a lot of lasagna. So let's pop up here. And then let's take a little peek at the suburban food dispenser, which should have lasagna, which literally just makes you big. Yeah, garlic bread for big tail and big nose and lasagna for big and pizza bagel. <gasps> pizza bagel also gives you big nose and big. Oh, okay, so we'll do garlic bread and pizza bagels. I think that that would be really delightful. All right, pizza bagels, let's put these down. Big giant pile of them. 
just a nice, oh, my mouth is like watering. Now I want to make like, maybe I'll make like a little mini pizza, like a little mini vegan pizza with our delicious vegan cheese uh, later for lunch. That actually sounds really good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Sugar lump. May you have sweet dreams of pizza. <laughs> like lots and lots of pizza. Uh, and I don't want to interrupt them because they're actually sleeping. So we'll go ahead and leave them be. But meanwhile, drizzle, drizzle, <laughs> drizzle, no. <laughs> don't go ahead and shake a leaf. You literally shook the poop out of sugar lump. That is just not acceptable, drizzle. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, come here, sugar lump. I guess you and drizzle are ready to grow up. So let me go ahead and feed you both. We're gonna get a little bit, oh, the tooth. Here, eat the toothus. That actually will really help you out too. There you go. And then maybe one more pizza bagel. There you are, friend. Good job, good job. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a little bit of praise. Let's go ahead and puppet you. Phew, there we go. Sometimes when all of those tails are wiggling at once, I get a little dizzy because there's just so many tails. But that's not to complain because I want there to be a ton of tails. All right, come here, Drizzle. Drizzle, do you wanna go ahead and eat this? Do you want a pizza bagel or a garlic piece? All right, you're, you're kind of hanging out more towards the garlic bread. All right, there we go. And we're gonna let you go ahead and puppy. Whoa! <laughs> Which ghost is levitating that coconut in my face? Is that Squirtle? Squirtle, how did you get in here? I mean, I'm not gonna complain. There's clearly a ton. There's like a whole party going on that I was missing out on over here. So I'm grateful that you like brought me back in, but still, Strawberry is going ahead and trying to hoard some food. Strawberry, are you an adult now? No, a young adult. Okay, so we've still got a little ways to go on that one. But Mysticorn is actually ready to go ahead and puppy. Oh, Mysticorn. Gosh, what to feed you though, Mysticorn? Oh my goodness, like I don't even know. I want your like patterning to go up. What 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 can we feed to make more intense pattern? Let's see. I think the more intense pattern is actually. Let's see, pattern intensity, pattern intensity, big, thick legs, glossy sheen, black pattern, skinny, let's see, droopy face, brown coloration, random mutations, short body, big tail. Let's see, where, oh, where? There, intense pattern. There we go. The corn, of course. All right, let's actually try some corn. Let's see what happens if we go ahead and we dispense. I think that's under spooky foods. So what happens if we put in a bunch of corn in here? Narrow stance, intense pattern, inverted snout and wide stance. Okay, that sounds like it could be safe for some of my goals. Um, intense pattern, candied apples, metallic sheen and narrow stance. I feel like that could be pretty safe too. All right, let's try putting down some of these. And we're gonna see what happens to our puppers. Because I think sometimes, and we'll throw down a couple random things as well. Just a couple squash, just a few pumpkin pie. Because I feel like sometimes when we leave in some of the food kind of like as random stuff, we end up with some really interesting results. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just remove that. All right, Mr. Corn, let's pull you over here into this big giant pile of food. We'll give you the pets. I've really loved where Mr. Corn's puppations have taken us so far, and I think they don't have many left. So I wanna make sure. Do you wanna eat this decorative piece of corn? Eh? Good job, eat this. Good job, good job. Yay, over right. let's go ahead and puppet you. Yeah, I just really want to make sure that Mr. Corn's last puppations before they become an adult are like really fun ones. Uh, Abstract's actually ready to go as well. Abstract, you just want to eat this pumpkin pie, maybe? Can I drop you in the pile of, of food? We'll go ahead and praise you for that. Good job. All right, and we'll let you go ahead and puppet too. I like to imagine that they get some sleep while they're inside of their chrysalis, but who knows? Coconut Strudel, where did you go? All right, Coconut Strudel, you're still having like a hard time. Sorry about that, little straw baby. Little straw baby is actually ready to pup bait too. I'm gonna see, straw baby, do you wanna eat this decorative corn? And Coconut Strudel, I'm still trying to fix your legs. So let me scoop you up and I'm actually gonna feed you some deviled eggs. And we're gonna see if that helps out. 
it's trying to help out the pixel puppies. We'll see if it helps you out too. Okay, that's just gonna make you small. Uh, well, we're trying. <laughs> Come on, Coconut Strudel. Our 12-eyed dog. All right, maybe we'll get something going on in here. Maybe we'll feed them just a corn, piece of corn for the sake of it. All right, go, 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 go. You've got that, good job, good puppy. Good puppy who looks like a triangle wedge of cheese now. All right, let's let these two puppy. Oh no, I accidentally stored little strawberry. I need to go ahead and get them back out. <laughs> little strawberry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I was trying to puppet you. There you go. Phew. Okay. Wow. We actually got like everybody is puppeted except for Corn Dog, and Corn Dog is having a little bit of a hard time. I think that every now and then they just they have a hard time because their their front legs are a little bit chonky. Um. Here, go ahead and eat the nutritional pellet. Yeah. I think I think I need to go ahead and actually provide them, maybe with a little bit more companionship. But also, I need to provide them with, like, a better way to be able to eat their food. So, we'll look into that. Phew! Oh, and speaking of puppies... <gasps> look at this tiny little one! And this is actually going to be Doggo from Mr. Doggo, who has been a member of our Wobble Dog community for so freaking long now. And welcome, Doggo! I thought that was, like, the perfect name for this puppy. I can't even remember the lineage. So Mr. Doggo, if you remember like the lineage of how you ended up becoming a Wobble Dog by like who created this puppy, I would love to know. This puppy is food adverse and a bit lazy, but hopefully they'll have a good time. We'll go ahead and praise them for bucking around the place, having a good time. Uh, Straw Baby, let's go ahead and hatch you. Now let's see if we can get everybody hatched before the end of the day, because that would be really good. <gasps> Straw Baby! Oh! I really want to- the straw baby's an adult! You guys! Straw baby is all grown up and ready to leave behind another one of our little garden dogs! I love how the snout rotation went up again! <laughs> I really want to keep the snout rotation going. That is my goal for the garden dogs, is to make their, their adorable little, like, digging snouts uh, really long, because I just think that that is so precious. Mr. Corn, let's go ahead and hatch you out next. I want to get everybody hatched before the end of the day, if, if that works out. Mr. Corn! Mr. Corn, your nose is so big, it hardly shows up. <laughs> okay, Mr. Corn is huge! With the, the gigantic nose now. Very little has already changed about them, other than the ear length. It was just barely any difference um, from what we've already got. It looks like their two heads are having a little trouble here. One's upside down. That looks like it's very uncomfortable, Mr. Corn, but I'm sure that you guys will be able to work something out soon. All right, Coconut Strudel, let's go ahead and hatch you. And... <gasps> Whoa! Coconut Strudel! Wow! I love the green coloring! Coconut Strudel, you look so cool! The leg with the body girth, the snout rotation, the ear length, and the nose and ear gloss have actually gone up quite a bit. And I think that Coconut Strudel looks like an amazing orb weaver spider. So I'm really, really happy with how Coconut Strudel turned out as an adult. We're gonna have so many puppies to breed! Oh, that really looks uncomfortable, Mr. Corn. That definitely looks very uncomfortable. Oh my word. I really hope that you're able to like do a little bit of like two-headed dog yoga to make yourself feel better. Um, we'll get abstract out as well to maybe contribute to this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Abstract. Whoa, abstract. I kind of love how abstract is going a little bit monotone. Uh, front leg stance has actually width has actually decreased significantly. That did move in quite a bit. Uh, back leg girth has gone down. Tail size has gone up. But otherwise, not too much on a difference on abstract. But I think they're doing pretty good for being a little abstract puppy. And then, let's see, who else is in? Oh, Strata! So, Strata did making you a little deviled egg dish help. Come on, tiny legs. 
Come on, teeny tiny legs. We're trying so hard to make those legs work, making them girthier. Like the body size has just barely increased. We're trying not to increase that too much. Snout rotation has gone up and nose size has gone up. Oh, Strata, you are still our teeny tiniest of the itty bitty pixel puppies, but we do need to do more work if we are going to make it. Oh, there you go, Strata. We'll go ahead and clean up, uh, that up after you. Like, here, you can grab this gigantic newspaper that's like five times the size of you, uh, and hopefully that will help. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Last ones, Sugar Lump and Drizzle. Let's get them hatched today. Oh, <gasps> Sugar Lump, you're huge! Okay, Sugar Lump is only a teen, but has already turned huge. Body height has gone up, ear length has gone down, nose size has gone up. Yes, we really want that big nose. And we will go ahead and feed Sugar Lump more of the bones. Like, we need to start collecting more of the bones and make sure that they can veer more towards the white coloring that we're vaguely trying to keep somewhat in the variation for our Ghost Guard dogs. And Drizzle! All right, Drizzle, looks like we need to be giving you a, a little bit of the um, the bones as well. So we need to start collecting those bones for the boneyard again, friends. And uh, Drizzle, the bottom, front bottom leg length has actually increased significantly from a random mutation. And the tail size has gone up. Yes! Oh, and nose and ear metallicness has just gone like off the charts by 51%. What? Okay, I did not expect that. All right, let's put the chrysalis elsewhere. There we go. Oh my word, look at all of these puppies. This is great, you guys, except for corn dog. Oh, corn dog. <laughs> okay, corn dog is really irritated because of this new puppers. We're gonna go ahead and scold the puppers. Oh, he was just trying to play. Oh. I, I really can't scold him for that. And a cute large tube for the space station stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Corn dog's just cranky because like other dogs are like getting in his business, but still. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this absolutely chaotic adventure where you just don't have any idea where things are going to take you from day to day. And if you would like to join me on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.